So when the project is evolving, then we move to the traditional uh, step of uh, the convergence between design and engineering. Okay, I told you, concept model, concept modeling, we start to distribute the design intent to the different teams, so they start to work in parallel, and then the class A modeler, his job is to converge the different, uh, the different uh, disciplines together, and for that, uh, Laurent will explain you what we did with the, the door panel, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, so in interior design for class A modeling, well, you will retrieve uh, basic uh, disciplines that need to live together, but it's a bit more challenging for interior design, as obviously the design is much more constrained by engineering and uh, packaging than it is for exterior, which is uh, leading uh, styling uh, feature. So all of these should, co should converge to make sure we have the good manufacturability, and obviously the main input is the uh, chassis, because today when you start a car, it's obviously the platform given to everybody. And it's had a big impact on multidiscipline engineering and of course of the configuration of the car, like uh, three and five doors, uh, you know this. And uh, the beauty of this kind of platform that can evolve and change over time, is, is it's good for the flexibility of the car, but for us it adds a complexity is that at any time of time, at any point of time, you can have a, a design change coming from engineering. Exactly. So the interior design is much more uh, to, uh, uh, capable to change compared to the exterior. Uh, also, we, as you saw in the beginning of the of the presentation, the, we delivered a blue interior, uh, exterior uh, six years ago, and so obviously the body in white was already uh, performed by engineering teams, and so we had to uh, a bit adapt from it also as a starting point. So what is very important to understand is compared to exterior, we have to do some class A uh, in context of all the, those disciplines. So you can see here, we already have some device from suppliers like the lock, uh, the hinge, etc. We have some body in white, so we have the sea line in orange, which is very important because it is the main input from both body in white and uh, class A modeling. Uh, and we also can have some space reversion here for the, the speaker grid and the mechanics of the window uh, of, the, of the door. So overall, uh, we're gonna have to deal with the styling sketch, the seal line, and also the master section. So what is very convenient here is uh, in ICM design experience, we, can, uh, we have some functions from natural sketch, like here, we can position some typical master section from, uh, from body in white, and, uh, and then start to design in context of it to make sure at, at least at the very beginning, the very first uh, master flange of the door panel will uh, respect the uh, company corporate processes. So here you see that we are doing typical uh, flange surfaces in ICM design experience with a bit more option, obviously, than traditional uh, surfacing tool because we, uh, we, much, uh, we must master a lot of parameters. And when those uh, yellow surfaces here are done, then we can switch to the character lines given from the, the sketch we have right now. Okay, so here we are sculpting uh, in two uh, on a 2D basis uh, a NURBS directly with the segment of the NURBS, and when it's fine in one view, then we can position it in, in 3D uh, by snapping and, uh, and uh, deforming it, okay? When it's done, uh, what can happen is that the sea line in orange changes, and then moving also the body in white. Uh, very quickly here, we are able to readapt the, the sketch to the, the right position, because the proportion of the sketch are still uh, are supposed to be master. And uh, when done, uh, well, we are able to adapt all the set of uh, character line in one shot uh, just by uh, positioning the right transformation, like tr quick translation here, and then uh, scaling. And we can retrieve directly the right shapes. When done, we can shot for the first surfaces. So here it's a B-rail sweep. Uh, you see it is a feature. So of course, uh, you, know, you know the feature base, but what is important is that we can also sculpt directly the control point of this uh, NURB surface actually here. And when I do this here, I don't break the associativity. So we will keep history on that uh, by tuning directly through the input curve like here, or directly on the surface itself, the, the highlight lines. Okay, so here I'm deforming the inputs. Still, I'm keeping the deformation I have induced by, uh, by sculpting. So when done, you have all the, all the door inner panel uh, surfaces. Obviously, we're gonna check there is no clash with the seat for the pocket. Uh, we are gonna check that we respect the seal lines uh, in orange, the body in white, uh, in yellow, and even other shape on the, on the opening of the door, for instance, okay? So here we can uh, 
So this is a very complex environment, and uh, at any time you can filter, uh, like we just seen here in 3D, to get the relevant ecosystem you need for the for the job on the class A surface you need to model. Okay, so again here, if we change the orange C line, the whole ecosystem is updating, body in white, uh, class A modeling, and then we have to solve potential conflicts with uh, with clashes, etc. Yeah, absolutely. But a very good collaborative environment. Exactly. So we have to discuss here with simulation guys, with obviously Frank for the dashboard uh, and for the for the seat, yeah. and uh, also with uh, Ode for the sketch. Yeah. So here you have the vehicle architect who is in charge of this, uh, was responsible of this orange line. Exactly. Contour of the, the tour panel. In parallel, we had the TNM team working on the body and white with the CAT engineering team, and in parallel, uh, Sylvain Carré and Laurent working on the design and class A of the, the panel itself, the door panel. Thank you, Laurent. Yeah, Thank you.